Hello everybody, this is Matt with remove-malware.com and I had a little, little extra time tonight. I won't have much this weekend so I kind of wanted to get this out of the way and I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my first uh, behavior blocker and that would be PC Tools Threatfire. Um, I learned about PC Tools Threatfire probably about a year ago and I had to use it when I was on a customer call, um, this person had a USB worm, and it was really, really annoying because the antivirus I had on me just didn't detect it. So I downloaded Threatfire, and Threatfire isolated this worm and just quarantined it, and that was it. End of story. Since then, I haven't really used it much. I'm a pretty big fan of uh, HIPS, but uh, lots and lots and lots of people always say that behavior analysis is the future because there's so many uh, there's much less much less prompts that you have to deal with um, so let's go ahead, go ahead and talk about what threat fire is really quick it offers zero day protection you can run it alongside your antivirus in fact they kind of encourage it um, it is free 22 meg download not exactly huge uh, it protects your PC against uh, attacks that are malicious in behavior, uh, such as uh, keystrokes, um, key loggers, that kind of thing. Um, uh, let's see, what else do they do? They do, it recognizes spyware, adware, key loggers, viruses, worms, trojans, rootkits, buffer overflows, and other malware. Um, it says Threatfire uses unparalleled protection to hunt down and paralyze those threats that, that are either too new or too clever for traditional signature based antivirus software. I'm a big believer in, in that uh, signature based uh, antivirus is going out the door pretty soon in the next, next few years. So uh, it's either going to be um, behavioral analysis or HIPS, not sure which yet. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and install Threatfire. And what we're going to do is just kind of go over the install. And then uh, we're going to throw 10 malicious URLs at it. I have no antivirus on this machine. Uh, we're just going to test Threatfire's capability to stop threats. Um, so far, like I said, I've tested a lot of HIPS, many HIPS products and sandboxing products. And they're all pretty much perfect. Um, but they do, uh, well, the, the HIPS products have a ton of pop-ups, uh, and you have to deal with deal with that. And, you know, there's so many pop-ups that uh, people often will just let anything into their computer just by hitting allow. Um, whereas threat fire should be pretty quiet and only pop up, you know, if we're installing some some really nasty stuff. That's, that's the purpose of behavior blockers. But I'm also kind of worried that... Um, Someone's going to write some kind of threat, I don't know, that, that gets around the behavior blockers. Um, you know, since, since it's just a behavior, who knows if they, who knows if they can write something that just kind of tricks it. I don't know. So Threatfire has uh, been loaded down here in my tray. And uh, here's the interface. It pops up right away for us. I'm going to go ahead and do a smart update. It's going to download a database update. I'm assuming it has uh, some rules that it's downloading, something like that. Um, and Threatfire needs to reboot my PC. So once I um, once I finish doing this update, I'll go ahead and reboot, and I'll pause it during that.
So these days I get emails, um, maybe 50 emails a day on what kind of free antivirus. Um, you need more besides antivirus. So just in case you're watching this video, you need antivirus and then uh, throw on something like this. Either a, a hips if you're okay with lots of pop-ups. It does. The hips products do learn over time. Uh, it just you know at first it's a little, a little crazy. So my update is uh, trying to install here. I'm gonna go ahead. And, okay, next, and finish. Okay, um, it actually isn't really prompting me to reboot, but I did see one prompt down there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to come back. We'll kind of take a look at some of uh, some of the interface. There's really not much to do. It is, uh, you know, it's behavioral analysis without a lot of configuration. So I'll be right back. Okay, my machine is booted back up again. And let's go ahead and double-click our little threat fire icon down here. You can also double-click the one on the desktop. And when you bring it up, um, it gives you a worldwide detection screen. You can see all the threats on this little map. Doesn't do a whole lot for me. I don't really care for it. Shows me uh, malware threats and adware threats. So uh, protection status it gives me uh, it says your protection 205, community protection 205, programs examined 5, suspicious activities detected 0, malware blocked 0. And then you can go ahead and learn more about this tab right here, which uh, requires an internet connection to load up their website, which loads slow for some reason. I guess it's just my computer. So I'll just put that in the background. Um, system status. It says version is current. Last update was less than a day ago. I just did one. Uh, it has uh, antivirus included in it, which is kind of weird. Uh, I don't remember that being in there before. So I'm going to have to find out about that. Uh, database version and product version. Okay, on the scan, you can go ahead and scan for rootkits and scan th for threats. Yeah, I guess they must have included antivirus recently. I, I really don't remember this because I just worked with this a few few weeks ago and it wasn't there. Um, so I'll have to find out if that's compatible with other antiviruses. I'll, I'll post something on my blog. Once again, my blog is remove-malware.com. Um, you can go ahead and create advanced rules. Oh, let me go back to threat control. Threat control, uh, we see allowed items, we see denied items, we've seen quarantined items, and then so there's a protection log. So we have really done, haven't done anything yet, so we don't have anything in here yet. These are all kind of blank. Under advanced rules, or advanced tools, you can create custom rules for applications, and it is really really kind of difficult. <laughs> I tried creating one and one the other day and uh, I just got bored. Um, it was just too convoluted. I just want something where I can right click it and say you know prevent this from doing anything or treat it as a safe application. That's all I want. Um, okay I'm kinda running low on my 10 minute time here. I'm gonna go ahead and start another video. Be right back.